Hello, astrology friends. This is the astrology for Wednesday, July 5th, 2023. And um, hope everybody had a good 4th of July. Hope everybody got a good weekend in. Uh, just got to clear this out of the air first. There are three different accounts using my astrology name. One, a Scenic Grid Astrology 1, Scenic Grid Astrology 2, and then Scenic Grid Astrology underscore. Those aren't me even though they're using my content. They're asking people for money and uh, don't give it to them. That's all I'm saying. Because I will never ask you for a donation or money. So there we go. Anyway, you want to book a real reading with me, scenicgridastrology.com, and you will be guided to my website and my schedule and all of that. So this is Wednesday. So we've got the moon. The moon starts at six degrees or seven degrees early, early in the morning, 12 a.m. And this is casted for like around this 11 o'clock at night. So 11 o'clock Tuesday right now. So um, this is Wednesday night around 11 o'clock, 21 degrees the moon gets to. So the moon travels a lot. She actually travels pretty fast on Wednesday in Aquarius. And so, you know, there's a... Uh, a coolness when the moon is in Aquarius. It's actually kind of nice coming out of a heavy Capricorn moon. We can often feel the heaviness of emotion or responsibility, you know, weighted on our shoulders with Capricorn moon. Not to, you know, hate my Capricorn moons. They're used to dealing with that and living with that all the time. Um, more serious tone. But when we get into Aquarius, it's it's a little bit lifted, but it's also an opportunity to look at something more objectively and what I'm seeing is a, is a day of course correction, um, but it's a day of internal course correction. You know, it's not really going to be experienced externally. It, it might be, it eventually might be, um, but I would definitely keep your eyes peeled. Mm-hmm. You are open, your, your ears open, your eyes open, and your, your third eye open today, really, on a day like this, because you might get some insight coming in, okay? And so this would be a day to, like, whip out the tarot deck, even if you don't use it, you know, even if you don't know what you're doing, go online, draw an online card, just look for some external kind of wisdom right there to get you kick-started and spend some time meditating and give yourself an opportunity to objectively reflect on where you're at right now, you know, because with the moon opposing Mars and Venus today, you might get some insight about a situation, a place, a thing, or something that's going on in your life that you didn't see before and that you get a new perspective. It kind of changes the way you feel about something. And it could be like really incredibly course correcting because the moon in Aquarius is something that changes. You know, Aquarius is a sign where we meet something and it, and it you know, fractures something off of what something was built and it changes the paradigm or it changes the system, right? It reinvents itself. Um, and that reinvention, you know, that, that can accelerate rapid growth. And so, you know, I'll give you a uh, story. So, you know, if you guys follow my work, you know that I lost my grandfather last week on Monday, June 26th. And we actually had his funeral yesterday, July 3rd on the full moon in Capricorn, which is really, really, uh, really cool, really astrologically symbolic, you know, Capricorn full moon, father archetype, funeral. And it was a beautiful funeral, and there was this one guy that came and showed up, and I didn't recognize him, and I didn't know him, but he was bawling his eyes out, you know, and and he was just like, couldn't control <laughs> his tears, and, you know, my family, we were, pretty, you know, we're mourning, you know, but it was just, I was like, who is that, you know, to my aunt next door, next, next door, next, standing next to me, when he left, and I was like, who, who the hell was that? And, you know, this is like a lifelong friend of my papa, who my papa kind of actually treated like a son because he was a bit younger. But apparently this man is extremely wealthy and um, like millionaire wealthy. And he, my grandfather built bird houses and like woodwork that people could put on their houses. And he was incredibly good at it. And it was his hobby, you know, and he was like in his 70s and 80s. And that was his retirement thing. And he didn't make a lot of money, he didn't have a lot of money, so that was like a side project for him to do. And I mean, for a 70 and 80 year old man to be doing that kind of work, who's also a double amputee and ha- didn't have great health, that's vigorous work. So this guy um, bought like, I guess like 200 pieces from him at one point and like didn't pay him. And 
my aunt ended up having to like go after him and say like you're gonna pay my father you know because this guy had like a lot of money and stuff and you know long story short after like maybe six months he finally ended up paying my grandfather from my my aunt honestly addressing him about it but um he came to the funeral today and i think you know when I talked about my family after all of that, those tears, like, which is fine. He's mourning and he's obviously allowed to be sad and mourning, but I think there is an element there of him having a different perspective now because, you know, my grandfather died. Right. And so he, it was, it was an objective moment for him. Right. And he was obviously grie grieving and there was probably some guilt in there somewhere as well, you know, about, you know, how he treated my grandfather the last couple of years that he was alive. But that's the thing is like, that's what Aquarius objectivity will do, right? It will, um, or a full moon, you know, instance, right? That, that, um, ability to, to retract and take back and step back for a minute and see something for what it is. So I think that this is what, this July 5th day is going to, is going to be like, like you might see something with a new perspective and a new set of, set of eyes, especially because that moon is going to end up uh, forming a square to Uranus uh, at the end of the day. Okay. And that's really going to be something revolutionary, like something you've been working hard on or kind of has been stuck or you've had value around something, you know, or, or you've put some sort of value on something the way either you've been doing something or somebody else has been doing something right there's a situation that shows up that creates an internal process of change, you know, a different perspective. And it shifts the whole thing. It shifts the whole thing because also today we've got Mars uh, in an inconjunct to Neptune. And so the dream that you are working on or the vision or the inspiration that you once had for something or that you still are holding on to, right? Um, you know, that, that, that ship that we're steering in that, you know, big Neptunian ocean of that dream, that, that, that life goal or that end goal or the wish or whatever, right? That's also going to get a change today because that in conjunct from Mars is saying, okay, like everything is not quite as clear, right? Like something's still going to dissolve. We still got Saturn retrograde and Pisces. And so stuff that we've been rigid to is loosening up. The bond is loosening. Um, we're having to surrender to life ex ex circumstances outside of ourselves in certain ways and, and shift the way we have been working on our vision and on our life and on our goal. Okay. So this is a day really where I think you can extract and also, you know, just to back this up, that the sun and Mercury is still in this cancer uh, energy where nostalgia is backed up there, right? Like, there's a in a need to go within internally to to build that fortitude from that safety and security within yourself um but there's also this compassion and empathy built behind that as well that you know be compassionate with yourself up until this point and realize that if you do get this objective download today that something needs to shift that's okay that's been a part of your journey you know and, and we're here for that transformation that's needed and that, I think, is really going to layer in as we get later into the week because Mercury is just about entering its opposition to Pluto today with the 10 degree orb. And so the more Mercury, Mercury moves fast. So the closer Mercury ends up into that opposition to Pluto, the deeper that mental, that logical insight, but coming from an emotional landscape because it's in Cancer, is it's going to impact us. Okay, so everybody, let me know how your astro day is going. Uh, please give me a subscribe if you're new here. Uh, find me on YouTube. And I'm also doing half-off astrology readings until the end of summer. So you can book an evolutionary astrology reading through my website. Link is in bio. Use the code HALFMOON. And uh, maybe I'll see you then. See you guys.